Well, hello there. I'm Papa G, and we're going to make several different videos. We're going to divide up these videos into how to install Los Santos Red version 1.00484. That is the latest version, official release, as the time at, at this moment that this video is being made. Okay, being recorded. So let's start off with what we need. Well, first, you're going to need a legal copy <clears throat> of, Los, uh, of Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy. You're going to need, of course, Los Santos Red. Uh, but first, one thing I want to mention is you need to have a mods folder made after the last major GTA 5 update. I'll explain that here in a minute. So you need a copy of Los Santos Red. You can get that here at lcpdfr.com underneath scripts and plugins, or you can go over to GitHub. Over at GitHub, <clears throat> I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description. Over at GitHub, what you will do is you'll come down here to releases. You see this is released 484. You would just click on that and you would scroll down and you're gonna grab this zip file. Uh that is that is the two locations where you can download the mod from. You're also I would highly, highly suggest you grab this. I would grab 7 zip. Grab 7-Zip, download it, install it into, onto your system, rid yourself of WinRare, WinZip, and use 7-Zip. It is a much better program to use for zip files. There, uh, another thing you're going to need is <clears throat> the uh, Rage plugin hook. That you're going to have to grab off of Rage plugin Discord. Um, I can bring up that real quick. You gotta forgive me because I cannot fucking see. So if we go over to Rage Plugin Hook, Rage Plugin Hook, it's gonna be under necessities. Now the bottom one here, at the time of this recording, this bottom one here is for LSPDFR and dealing with the crashes. This is the one I recommend, the one just above it, the Grand Theft Auto. Five legacy version. I I wouldn't recommend this one because that's specifically made for the crashes, and I don't know honestly if it will work correctly with LSR. I don't know. I don't. I'm not going to test it. I have no reason to test it. So you want to grab this one, and you grab it by going here where the Rage plugin hook, where it says it at, there's a little arrow there and you download it. Okay, now let's head over here real quick to Gresk where Los Santos Red Discord is. If you look up in the help channel right here, if you look up here at the pin messages, all the stuff I'm gonna mention here, except for 7-zip and open, open four, is gonna be listed. Now, if you scroll right here, it's going to show it. And I even got a little bit of instructions right here on what to do with the heap adjuster. So let's go back to this. So we were on 7-zip. This is the game config that you need a custom game, game config. This is the one I have been using for years. It doesn't un update unnecessarily. It updates only when it needs to update. There is another option that is listed and has a link to on the Discord of another custom game config. I don't use it. Um, to me, the person there updates unnecessarily, but I've tried it. It works. Both of these work, but I prefer this one. I've been using this one for years, and I have never had an issue for it. The next thing you're going to need is the heap adjuster. 
And that is where, if we go back here, I have it shown, keep a gesture, change the INI, that's the INI file, to read keep a gesture 20,048. So all you're going to have to do is go into the INI file and change that number. I have mine set to an unbelievably high number for testing purposes because not all numbers work. You can't just put in what you want and it'll work. It's specific numbers. <clears throat> but 2048 works. So you're just going to change that INI file. You can use Windows Notepad to change it. I use Notepad++ to work in anything. And you, you can use that to change it, okay? The next thing, so that's the heap adjuster, right? Here's where you're going to get it. If you don't know where to install it, there are instructions. Um, let me look here. Let me look here to make sure. Uh, is there instructions with it? There might not be instructions with it. I'm not sure. It might be in the file itself. I don't know. It goes in your main GTA 5 folder. I will show you that right here. This is my main GTA 5 game. Okay. Heap adjuster is going to go right in here. You're going to see heap adjuster ASI and the INI. When it actually, when the game launches, it makes a log file. Okay. So that is just something that's not going to show up until the game is activated with this. So there's the ASI. This is, and I'll just right click this and show you. We're going, we're going to, uh, oh shit. What am I going to right click it for? We're just going to double tap it. It opens it up in notepad. See, I have mine set way, way higher, but it was for testing purposes and I just never changed it back. I, I have no need to because it works. So you want to put 2048 there. All right. The other one is the pack file. A pack, yeah, pack file limit, uh, limit adjuster. Again, that goes into your main GTA game folder. And if we look down here, right there it is. And I and I, there's the ASI and the I and I. Those are the two files you're going to drop in here. Okay. Now, for the ASIs to be used, I will show you here in a minute. So, Another thing you're going to need is Rage Native UI 1.9.3. Not to be confused with Native UI. This is Rage Native UI. Okay. That also, we will go back here into my main. And you're going to see it in my main GTA folder right there. It's along where, where you install Rage Plugin Hook, which is something else you need, right? And I showed you that. I did, right? Yeah, I showed you on the Discord. You have to download it from the, their Discord. You don't download it from off the, off the, uh, their website because their website has not been updated in ages. So if you don't know where to get it at, just do a search for Rage Native, uh, uh, Rage Plugin Hook discord and it'll give you a link for their discord you join their discord and you download it now so that is that one and another program you're going to need is called open four now i can show you i'm not going to go to the site um we'll just do this and it's going to come up with this one you want the openiv.com. Now I'm not going to go to it because it's going to come up with this message for me, right? And it tells me within the last five days, the certificate expired. I've had open, open IV version 4.1 downloaded for years. So I have no reason to download it again, but I'm not even going to go there. Uh, you're going to need that. So we're just going to close that out. And what that is, you're going to need to download it. Find a video that tells you how to install it. It's, it's extremely simple. Okay. I'm just going to fire it up here real quick. So you're going to, you're going to have to install open, open IV, open four, whatever you want to call it. You're going to have to set it up so that it, it finds your D GTA five folder. This is why 
I tell you to. Where the fuck did it go? Where the fuck did it? Oh, there it is. This is why I'm telling you look for. I'm not going to make a video on installing it. I'm just not. I will do something here real quick, though. Because those ASIs we just installed, the heap adjuster and the pack file limit, adjust, uh, limit, whatever the hell it is, we're going to, you need to go to your tools once you have this installed and you want to go to the AI, ASI manager and you want to enable the ASI loader. And I, I don't know if you need open IV ASI load. I, and anyways, you want, you want these two. Okay. See how these are green. That tells you that they're installed. You want those to be installed. All right. Okay. So now that we did that, we don't need this open anymore. Uh, all this video is is for the soft the the all the software you need to install program software whatever to install Los Santos Red. The next video is going to be on installation. Like I said at the beginning, we're going to have several different videos showing this so we can break it down and you can go to the one you want. On to the next one.